What is going on everybody? Tanner here. And today I'm bringing you guys another Xur location and inventory review. As you can see, we're chilling at the reef in that purple city heaven, that purple days, purple craze. We're going to go over here and check out what we have at Xur, what the old agent of the nine brought us today. All right, so first up we have the MK44 stand aside for Titans. These are 280 defense. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously everything's 280 defense from here. Just like to joke around with the fact that I always like to make sure I give every single detail and it gets people upset. But hey, you know, why would I not give you every single detail? You need every single detail. So anyways, these are intellect and strength based armor. They increase the duration of shoulder charge and tighter turn radius while sprinting. So obviously these are right off the start going to be some striker titans. Uh, dream set right here and they get a few other things that really really help you being the fact that you're a striker titan usually a shotgun right everybody's rocking shotguns with striker titans because they can move into positions faster they can get into tight corners fast they can turn corners faster with their shotgun the boots will allow them to just pretty much run the inside areas of the maps and as you can see they get arc double down next up the bones of AO now if you just watch my recent hunter setup video you'll see and if you haven't make sure you go back and check that out i'll put an annotation on the screen and you will see that these are some of my favorite boots that i'm rocking right now these are intellect and discipline based boots now what these will do is allow you to go ahead and pick up your double jump with control put on these boots and you will upgrade your double jump to a triple jump so that's really really helpful in pvp situations even pve there are certain times you want to get to like calcified fragment locations and stuff and the triple jump will actually help you get there easier or just getting to certain chests around the dreadnought where you have to jump over those like invisible platforms these boots will really make that much easier now there is a fundamental problem with these boots though and that's that the fact that first of all they use sidearm ammo that's no good for us we sidearms are currently dead in this meta there's absolutely no reason that we wouldn't use a sidearm in this current meta maybe in the future but not right now well, the fundamental issue with these is that they're intellect and discipline based boots, right? That's pretty good. Uh, I have no problem with that. I'm a gunslinger. I prefer intellect and discipline on gunslingers. I find the throwing knife to be somewhat worthless. Uh, as on the blade dancer, you can also have that somewhat of an issue where it's it's good. It's no no problem to be able to blade dance often and be able to throw your skip grenades or whatever often. And but it's it's nice to have blink strike as much often as too. But you can definitely run these boots with those. But you really don't want to run this with Night Stalker, right? Unless you have other pieces that are going to allow this to, like, even out, I guess, in the end. When it comes down to a Night Stalker, you really want to stack your Discipline and your Strength. So you can hit that Wombo combo with those grenades. So, you know, Intellect and Discipline is not the best setup, in my opinion, for a Night Stalker. And these boots have Void Double Down. Increases agility for 5 seconds after a Void Double Kill. So you have to use these with Night Stalker in order to get your Void Double Down perk to proc. But intellect and discipline, in my opinion, is not that good. Unless, like I said, you have all the other armor pieces and you're just looking for one to kind of boost your intellect a little bit, then this will work for you. But either way, I would recommend buying these and throwing on some, uh, like a, so a couple re-rolls on there. Just so, you know, a couple glass needles. That way you can just re-roll it and get exactly what you need. So next up is the Ram. This is your Warlock piece of the week. I'm just going to tell you right now, pick this up. Go ahead. I'll wait on you. Go ahead and go over there and pick it up. Purchase it you need it if you don't have it if you have it then just sit back and relax because this is the best helmet in my opinion right now for pvp one of the best i guess there's a few exceptions light beyond nemesis and a few other things like that but when i think when it comes to the ram for me i find this is one of the best weapons right now now this is a discipline strength based piece it gains increased armor and all void walker melee attacks trigger lifesteal on hit so this is really really op I really, really enjoy using these. They're kind of set up for PvE, though, I noticed. That they had hands-on gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness. And second thoughts gain bonus super energy from special for, uh, special weapon kills on minions of the darkness. And invigoration gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Now, I, can, I just don't get it, though, right? Because I don't play Warlock a lot. Maybe that this is how they all are. But I would assume if you re-roll these, you're going to get new perks over here and change these things up. Because this is literally a PvE helmet. It has no PvP benefit to it right now besides the fact that you gain all Voidwalker melee trigger lifesteal on hit. But then that just kind of really limits you to Voidwalker, which is fine. You could definitely use it there. But then there's, like, really no even like way to use it on any other class it just has like it's just pve based uh, objects so in my opinion i would buy it i would hit it with a glass needle and re-roll that boy next up is the weapon we have the fourth horseman this is a shotgun special weapon now this is a pretty cool one i like to think it's like the uh, accomplice to no land beyond it's got like that old setup theme to it 
even though we're like in the future they still have like these older styled guns i think it's pretty cool its main perk is thunderer this weapon can be fired in full auto mode so you can just pull, hold the trigger it will fire all five of them and it shoots decently fast for a shotgun uh its sights it's got some pretty good ones here definitely like accurize ballistics for this thing because it has the lowest range i think i've ever seen on any weapon in destiny uh, you get final round. The final round in the magazine deals bonus damage and fitted stock, hand loaded, speed reload, and return to sender. With kills with this weapon, have a chance to return bonus ammo to the magazine. So maybe you pop off with like two or three shots, you get two or three kills. Maybe you can end up at the end of this thing having a six or seven round magazine. Uh, I don't, it's not the best. I wouldn't recommend you go into like PvP and like trials with it. But I definitely recommend jumping into 6v6, jumping into PvE. It's a fun shotgun to use, just not the best. All right, in his curio section, we have Void Drive. Uh, allows you to produce a purple one and allows you to appear red under boost. And Heavy Ammo Synthesis, Three of Coins, and Glass Needles. These are all pretty much your standards besides these two. And in Material Exchange, you got your modes of light as per usual. So, a uh, decent week this week. Uh, I don't need to buy anything. I literally have all of these. I, I don't need to buy any of those. I didn't have this one, but I purchased it earlier. So now I, I have all of the armor pieces, I have the gun, and I'm not wasting any money on a chess piece legacy engram, because let's be honest, you're just going to get a piece from year one that you already own, and you're just going to get an exotic shard for it. Basically, he still sells exotic shards, people. They're right there. You're going to get the same piece you already have, and you break it down for an exotic shard. So anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I hope you guys have a good day, have a good night, have a good weekend, and peace.